What's up guys, Pokemon Volt Fight 2, video number 81. <clears throat> so here we are. Uh, the last video was, uh, uh, video 80. Volt Fight 2 and Bloody Platinum video 80. Um, yeah, we're just gonna heal up the Pokemon here. Before we continue on here, Route 18. In the last video, we left that little gatehouse that's there on Route 17. Uh, surfed our way over here, battled a couple trainers. And now, okay, there's nothing to do over here, so... We're just going to, uh... Uh, uh, keep going here on Route 18. This little island here that we're on is Route 18. The water is Route 17. So, um, I know in the last video I, had, I was like, oh, I don't know, you know, what route this is. Well, now I do, and, and this is what it is. So, yeah. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good, that's great. Yeah, uh, uh, Sunday I uploaded my very last video of Bloody Plat- well, I, I say that, and then I uploaded one earlier tonight. But Sunday I uploaded the last video of the Bloody Platinum LP. Uh, tonight was kind of like a like a bonus feature I uploaded uh, earlier tonight. So, um, yeah, it's like a 35-minute long video. So I, yeah, I'm not. A, I, I didn't. I didn't even have commentary on it. If you are interested in seeing what my videos are like before I edit them, uh, you should watch that video. Otherwise, uh, don't worry about it. But. Um, yeah, we're just going to continue on. Uh, we're going to continue on um, Route 18 and 17 in this video, and then we'll wrap it up in the next video. But in the meantime, I want to go over uh, answers to the question of the day for the last Volt White 2 video. <coughs> My question of the day was, which Generation 6 starter will you be choosing, and which game will you play first? And this game is coming out on Saturday. It's like almost here Saturday, so... I know a bunch of you guys are gonna like, oh my god, run out and get the game on Saturday. I'm probably not gonna get it until like next week sometime. But um, anyway, um, Uzumaki Mima said, uh, "Gonna pick Finnegan. We'll play X version, definitely." DJ Slime Eye said the same thing, X and Froki. Uh, Murfinator Inc. Uh, Murfinator Inc. Like analyze this thing. Says the starters are weird. I was leaning toward Chessman at first, and then I saw the first stage Evos. I went toward Brakeson and Frogadier, but now I've seen the final stages. I know for certain I'm go not going for Fennekin. Don't want to spell the names unless you want me to. And I'm glad you didn't say that, because I don't think the final stages have been, like, officially released yet. Um, I think it's, it's, if, if you have seen the final stages, it's, it's a leak. So, I'm not sharing any information until it's, like, officially released. And, uh, so he says I'm aiming for Froki and Chespin. Might have to take a pull for my starter. Uh, forgives 12, uh, I'm not quite sure what, what forgives 12 says. Think it's only affecting no cash GBA. I don't know what that means. I saw that there was a comment removed, so maybe you were answering that question and they removed their comment, so now it's just like a, a really random comment that you have there. Uh, Splash Squash says Froki and Charmander, Pokemon X. Schnurfliffle, uh, definitely choosing Froakie, Shrey and Roy, uh, Chessman, and Pokemon Y. And Splash Squash, I forgot, but you actually put which Gen 1 starter you were choosing, and that's another thing. You were gonna actually going to get a chance to choose a Generation 1 starter as well. So, that's my question of the day for this video. Um, you know, you guys told me who you're choosing for your Gen 6 starter, but who are you going to choose for your Gen 1 starter? And for those of you who, you know, weren't alive back in the early 90s, those Gen 1 starters are Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. So, yeah, who are you going to choose? Answer in the comments down there. Uh, question of the day. Did I say early 90s? I meant late 90s. I might have said late 90s, but I think I said early 90s. Oh well. As far as which Gen 1 starter I'm choosing, I think I think I'm going to choose the water type starter, the water type Gen 6, Froki. So that leaves me with either Charmander or Bulbasaur. And I was thinking, ooh, Charizard or Venusaur. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Make a Charizard X. Yep, Charmander. So I'm probably going to choose Charmander. So Splash Squash. So me and Splash Squash are on the same page here both going to choose Froakie and Charmander and play Pokemon X first. So, 
Yeah. <clears throat> but answer in the comments of which Gen 1 uh, Pokemon you're going to pick. And, yeah. I uh, don't think there has been any uh, new official news since I uploaded the last, uh, well, Y2 video, so... Um, yeah, not, not really anything to go over there. Um, I saw a, a thing on, on YouTube that uh, GCPM uploaded about a, 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 an ice-type form of Litleo, which I don't know if, if that really even makes sense. Maybe that's just, you know, speculatory, but I don't know. I thought that kind of looked interesting. I, I looked on the thing to see if there was any news about it, but I didn't see any, so... I don't know. I didn't even actually watch the video, I just saw the, the thumbnail in the description. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. We got Kingsford here. He's gonna take on this game on now. Kingsford. Oh crap! Psychic. Well, yeah, that's gonna knock out Kings. Oh, it didn't. Oh, cause Kingsford is like over leveled, level 87, level 87. I wonder if my Pokemon in this game are gonna get as high leveled as my Pokemon did in Bloody Platinum. My Pokemon in Bloody Platinum were all in the. Um, like low 90s, like levels 90 to 93. So we'll see if uh, if my Pokemon here get that as well. Um, there are there is another area that I need to explore that I haven't yet, and then some rematches, and then tracking legendaries. And <clears throat> I'm gonna do tracking legendaries a little bit different from now on. I've decided. Um, for those of you who watched uh, my Spirit Gold and Storm Silver LPs, I had several videos of tracking legendaries where I went around and uh, caught all the legendary Pokemon. From now on though, I've decided I am going to go around and find all the legendary Pokemon, but I'm not going to catch them unless I, I just like feel like, oh I gotta catch this one. But otherwise, I'm not going to catch them, I'm just going to battle them and uh, you know get the experience that's easier that way. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I basically just do these hacks for, for YouTube, I don't, I don't, you know, really play them personal, like, in my own personal time, I play the, the actual games on the DS, or the, I guess, and now in this case, the 3DS, so I'll catch the legendary Pokemon there, but in these games, you know, basically the only Pokemon I catch are the ones on my team, and, uh, you know, maybe like an HM Slave, or the, the, uh, mascot legendary, you know, like, like, uh, I cat the, you know, Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kyurem. So I don't, I don't really see myself going out and catching all the others. So yeah, that, I mean that should save a lot of time, uh, as far as going around finding all the Pokemon. Um, today is Tuesday, so we got Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I don't see myself finishing this by set. Oh look, it's Crash Awake. I don't see myself finishing this by Saturday. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get uh, my game probably until next week. So, at the earliest. So, I will finish this LP, I think, before I do anything else. Um, like I said, still not sure if I'll be able to do uh, Pokemon X or Y just because of the limitations as far as there not being a, a 3DS emulator. I don't think there is, at least. And, uh, yeah. Oh, so Crash Wig's going to Drift Fail City. He's going to meet up with Clay. That should be interesting, those two. Clay and Crash Wake. Alright. Oh, here's a guy. Oh, he's a veteran. Okay, let's see. Oh. I don't know why I went through all that to go around him, just to like talk to him from the other side. Oh, rotation battle. Oh, but this is okay. I'm cool with rotation battles. This is triple battles I don't like. Alright, so we got uh, Nessie here. Nessie's actually a good Pokemon to have here, just gotta know the right attack to use. <coughs> I mean, Surf will be good against any of them. Um, really good against Infernape. I got the Frost Breath too. Okay, Chatot used Nasty Plot. Come on, Nessie. This would have been a great time to use Frost Breath. No, Serp, okay. Frost Breath would be a good attack as well. Um, red card. Oh, what? 
Huh. I wonder if he's gonna switch into Lux right now. Yep, sure did. And I figured he would. Cross chop, bam. Wild charge. Okay guys, so last night, you remember uh, Sunday I said I wouldn't be able to upload a video Monday? Well, I'll tell you why. Last night, Monday night, I went to see the Beach Boys. You know the Beach Boys? You know I wish they all could be California girls? Yeah, those Beach Boys. I was kind of dragged into going because my dad was going to go and then he went out of town. So my mom was like, oh, you're going to come. I'm like, oh. Mainly because she didn't want to drive home at night. But that's that's not the thing. So we went to see the Beach Boys, whatever. I know some of their music. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty good. And freaking John Stamos was with the band. Like, like he was playing with the band. A drummer. And guitarist. John Stamos. Yeah, that John Stamos. From Full House. Yeah. He, he's a he's a freaking beach boy. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. Um, I was like, I was like, why is he here? It was like the most random thing ever. Like, oh, guess what? We're the Beach Boys, and hey, here's John Stamos. Y you have any idea how random that is? That's that'd be like going to see, I don't know, the the Rolling Stones, and and say, oh, hey, by the way, uh, you know. Bob Saget is in our band now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, seriously. I don't know. I, I just I just thought I'd 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 put that out there, saying like how how random I found the whole situation. Um. Let's see. Janicean is good against Floatzel, but not really the other two. Um. Chester's Pokemon. Alright, Chatop. Alright, he had head. Bleh, head smash. And that'll take out the Chatop, finally. Got this. Ah. Chatop's so annoying. I used to have a list of annoying Pokemon. I don't remember what I did with it. But I used to have a list of annoying Pokemon, and Chatop was, was definitely on that list, along with, uh, you know, Bidoof and Bibarel. And. Oh no, they're not really that annoying. They're just dumb. Uh. Oh, what's that guy? The evolved form of Patrat? Um, oh, what is that guy's name? The Evolved Form of Patrat, whatever his name is, he was definitely on my list. So was Rattata and Raticate. Because Raticate's like, like stupid strong. Like, he shouldn't be that strong, but he is. Oh my god, what is the Evolved Form of Patrat? I can see him in my head. He's got that stupid tail that goes back and forth, and the big eyes, and the and the cheeks, and he's like skinny, and he stands up on both on two legs. Ooh, that was a good move. Pedal dance. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if since Pedal Dance is in, if Janice is using Pedal Dance, if I'll be able to switch her out, if, oh, that was a bad, that was a mistake. I mean, I should have had her use Giga Drain. Zen Headbutt, yep, Zen Headbutt, that'll, that'll knock out Janice and super effective. Yeah, Nessie, here's Nessie back, Nessie got knocked out before, by the stupid red card. Reversal? Really? Oh yeah, Dugtrio is like crazy fast too, that's right. But Dugtrio has really low HP, so... Oh, but, well, he had really low HP to begin with. Alright, I need to go into Kingsford. Kingsford can pretty much do whatever he needs to do here against either of these, Tauros or, uh, or Infernape. Or, you know, Kimono, whichever. Come on. What? Oh, that's stupid. It's like 120 power, and... 
Yeah, I sure didn't do crap. Oh, and it got hit by an earthquake? I, I would've thought Kimono would have levitate. Alright, Kingsford, this is all you now. God, this guy is tough. He is like, he is taking me out. Patrat evolves into... <laughs> I want... I don't know why I like, keep saying Zangoose. I know it's not Zangoose. Zangoose is the one from Gen 3 with the, the guy who hates the Viper. Oh my god, what what is the name of that thing Patrat evolves into? I can't believe this. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Patrat. Watch the Patrat. Rock climb. This is going to keep me up at night. You know what? Screw it. I'm looking it up. I am looking it up. And the minute I look it up and see the name, I'm going to want to punch myself. I cannot believe. I can't remember what freaking Patrat evolves into. Watchhog. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so Watchhog. <laughs> that, that's the reason right there why, why it's on my annoying Pokemon list because I can never remember its name. Ooh, a magnet stone. Oh, you know what? I think you can go get Heatran. And this. I think Heatran evolves in. Or not evolves, but shows up in uh, Black 2 and White 2. Like, you know, the non hacked games, you know what I mean? So, the other day, Drayano uploaded a video about uh, showing, like, him videotaping his uh, uh, 3DS with his camera with his phone on his camera or with his camera on his phone camera phone and uh, I don't I don't even know if camera phone is even like like uh, a legit like description because I mean you can't buy a phone anymore without a camera moral of the story Drayano uploaded a video and he hinted okay hinted that he may be doing a hack of Pokemon X and Y oh my god I'm not sure how he'd do it though since there's not an emulator. But especially with these games coming out, people are gonna like there's gonna be demand for one and I'm sure one will be developed maybe. Um otherwise, like I said, I don't know too much about hacks, so I don't know how he would create one. I guess I know you can like somehow back up your, your DS cartridges. I like, I assume you could do the same for a three DS, but Anyway, he kind of hinted at a hack of X and Y, so I'm excited about that. Uh, anyway, we're here on Route 17, and, um, and, oh, okay. Oh, look, there's a Team Plasma Goon. Um, let's see, what else is on this island? Oh. Oh. Arden, no. Arden, no. Alright, Kimona. Uh, Ice Shard. Kimona, oh, I didn't know. Critical hit, really? All right, so it's gonna take at least two more ice shards. Mm. Two more ice shards to get this guy out. And he's like, "Ooh, I made a wish." Oh, so that's what the wish did. Okay, okay. Well, I'll just keep using ice shard until I, you know, you know, take your take take you down. See, I think Healing Wish actually heals the other Pokemon. Last Resort. Yeah, I don't know, you've only used two moves, so you can't use Last Resort yet. Now you use Wish, but that won't do anything because I'm going to knock you out now. Good job, Kimona. Alright, let's see, is there anything down here? Guess not. What is this? Ooh, it's the Team Plasma boat. Oh, it's just you. Oh, it's just me? Thanks. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's Genesec, guys. It's Genesec. What up, Genesec? I'll come get you later. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we've run into a few of the legendary Pokemons. Um, you know, on our little uh, wandering around here. So, 
you know, when I do my tracking legendary videos, I'll uh, I'll come back by and 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 get them. But for those of you who want to catch it now, there it is. All right, so here's someone we can battle, and he's like, "Oh, let's battle! I'm good at backstroke, freestyle, butterfly, flutter buff, butterfree, venom off, butterfly, mothum, dust talks." Okay. And that new butterfly Pokemon from Gen 6. What will Kimona do? Kimona will switch out because this thing is dark type and it, it crunches me. I am dead. So Bon Scott's like, ooh, I can be like Thunderbolt. And because it's a water type. And Sharpedo's like, crap. Except he's going to use Thunder Punch, which is dumb because this thing probably has rough skin. Yeah, I should have known. I don't know why I had him use Thunder Punch. Sharpedo always has rough skin. Waylord is next. Alright, Bon Scott, you're gonna you're gonna stick to it here and you're gonna be like, ooh, Thunder Punch. You can use Thunder Punch on this thing. Ah! Oh, heavy slam, really? What does that do? That's not very effective. It must be like a flying type move or something. Is that it? Should be it, because the video's almost over. Yeah it is. Alright, so the video is almost over. I'll see you guys next time. We'll wrap up this area, and then after that we'll do something else. Bye!